Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. My boots are on the ground. Look at this. Walking. <laughs> I'm walking on the ground. There's Gypsy. <laughs> That's about as close as I get her. <laughs> she's just she's very, very large. Very, very large. Very large lady, yes. But she's wonderful. Uh, she parked quite nicely there. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's not flat on the ground all over the place, but she is in an, a location to where I can actually get Mac in and out of her. So that's the main idea here behind this. I'm grabbing a bunch of stuff off the ship that we've been gathering at bases and things like that. Stuff we're just not going to use, at least not in this season. I don't think we will. If we have to remake it, we can remake it. But right now, I'm just kind of bringing the stuff down to the deconstructor and getting it uh, taken care of. I've also found uh, good news. First of all, the good news. We have now enough pentaxid to uh <laughs> to to come on open up i said open up there we go we have enough pentaxid to warp and that's what we're going to do today once i get done kind of dealing with this and i went out and i'm going out and picking up the uh auto miners we have right now and grabbing those guys as well i think i might have stuff in mac that i planned on taking down and destroying annihilating and de deconstructing uh, yes, we'll take all this stuff. Well, the weapons we'll take and leave in here. I know I'm going to take that. Let me just see if I've got anything in here i got to clear out of him. I don't think so. I think that's it. You know what? I know exactly what I did with the stuff from our last little expedition out in the last episode. I put it right in here. <laughs> Holy moly, would you look at all... Five CV cockpits. Yeah, five. I think I'll keep one and get rid of the rest of them. Uh, I'm going to keep those, those, that. Uh, I could get rid of that and that and that. A lot of the stuff I can just deconstruct. The, yeah, well, gravity generator. We're going to do the warp drive as well. Yep. Uh, this kind of stuff I'm going to tear down and see what kind of materials I get back from it. I mean, how many auto constructors do I need? The RCs, of course, we'll keep those. Passenger seats, those have got to be worth a little something too, I would think. They've got to be worth something. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Do we pick up any of those... These guys right here. We're gonna take those and take those and tear those apart. Um, oh, what are they called? And why don't I see them in here? I could have sworn we zap some. Let's go check inside storage real quick. I know I have one or two. I just got done zapping them. Pretty sure maybe right over in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of course, I sit down to record. You know what? Let's hold on to two of those just in case. We can find ourselves in a heavy planet. We can't get off the planet. Oh, they're not here. They're just not here. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy here too. The really big one. I'm going to tear that one down as well. Uh, do the passenger seats... No, they don't stack past the six. Okay, I see. Well, what's not going to be worth tearing down? Um, you know what? Let's keep these energy. Let's keep these guys right here. Uh, I'm, I've got, I think I've got some plans for those, so I don't want to get rid of those. But yeah, I just cannot spot. It's the, uh, it's a deco block, but it's not the deco block. It's the one that's got the storage units in it. The one that looks like that up there. I want to get one of those fuel ones so I can put the fuel someplace. But I guess what I'll do for now is put the fuel in right here. And then I just try not to forget that I put it right here. There we go. Uh, yeah, if you can take a look, uh, you can see we are completely full on our warp tank and we've got extra left over so yeah today we are going to warp somewhere it's probably going to take me a little while to grind all this stuff down but you know it's okay the night is coming so i think if i sleep the night away a lot of this will just grind away this guy i don't want to lose so i'm going to put him down here in my hot bar so i don't lose him and yeah there's a lot of stuff in here huh a lot of stuff that i get what's going to give me the bang best bang for my buck i'll take six of these guys right here you know what I could do is take our side thrusters and upgrade them all to that. And that's going to give us a lot more uh, side thrusts back and forth. But, you know, uh, I feel like we're, we're, we're really close to the Alpha 9 coming. And uh, I'm gonna looking forward to, you know, starting over again. I've learned so much this season from you guys. Season 7, season 6 and 7 have been my favorites so far because I've really gotten involved in the game. The community, you guys out there have really done a great job of helping me learn the game better. And I think each episode we're having more and more fun. So that's uh, that's the main goal, right? Is to have fun. That's why we play games, is to have a good time. And uh, I feel like I've really got myself immersed in Imperion Galactic Survival and I'm just, uh, you know, loving every minute of it. I really am. 
just having a ball. That's yeah. I could probably park her right here. Most of these trees are gone, or I could just chop them down, I guess, and park her right here. Uh, maybe I'll try that. I don't know. It's not that big of a run, and she does look good sitting up on the side of the mountain there. <laughs> I do. I like her up there. She should be safe, too. So, yeah, I've had a few things in here right now. You can see all this stuff. I've grabbed a bunch of water, too, so we can make more fuel. But, yeah, this is going to be some good resources. And um, then what we can do is we can continue to go out and get more and more stuff, like the Zascosium. We were completely out of Zascosium. So I'm hoping that uh, by the time I'm done with this, I have enough that I can make the um, repair bay. This is a CB... Ooh. No, this, oh, I guess I can't put that back once I take it. This is a CV, uh, repair bay for a CV. Repair limit to CV, SV, HV. So I think if I put this on the CV, I think I can do that. I should be able to put a repair station down, and then we'll be able to fix Mac. Anytime he takes some damage, we'll just bring him in there and fix him right up. How much time do we have till the sun goes down? Uh, it's, oh, we can sleep right now. How much power do we have? That thing sucks a lot of power. We're, we're good. And we sleep, and the time has gone by, and this thing should be just about done, yeah. Uh, yeah, 236 now, Zascosium, that's a pretty sweet deal, huh? Yeah, look at that, and some Sathium as well coming in, so that's a really nice thing to have. Oh, look at all those guys right there. All right, I'll come back when this is all finished up, and then we will uh, likely head back into, well, we got to get Mac picked up, Put the repair bay down and then see if we can make the repair bay console on uh, Gypsy. And then we'll get that set up too. And we should be good to go. We'll head into space and I want to warp to a different location and see what we find to do. I'll be right back. And we've got the repair bay. I want to put it inside the room here. I think this is a good spot for it. Just like that. And let's go ahead and paint it this nice dark red as well. And then Mac needs to, I th he might not have to come up a little bit. We'll see. I think I can get this up underneath here. We'll be okay to go here with, oh, I think right about there. You cannot place this block on Capital Vessel. Please check the block. What? It? Okay, I'm, obviously I'm reading this wrong. <clears throat> Can I only put that on a... Is it only to fix... Let's go... Um, what am I reading wrong here? Can repair damaged blocks and replace lost blocks. Repair to... Requires a repair console to work. Placeable on a base. Oh, placeable on a base. Is there anyone... Are there, are there some for CBs? Or am I just completely way off here on this? I thought... Um, base, base, placeable on a CB, okay, okay, so this is the one I need right over here, okay, so I see, alright, let's do that, <clears throat> and then I could take this one, just tear it down, okay, alright, and then what does this repair, it repairs... Repair limited to SV and HV. Okay, that's that's fine. And then we'll get the fuel going again. Beautiful. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and then I can take that one. I'll just I'll just tear it down. And uh, I've still got stuff I could tear down. Uh, I'm not too concerned about. It. I can do that sort of stuff off camera if I want to, and go back down here and take care of this stuff here. But let's go ahead and throw that in there. Yeah, I've still got. Plenty of things I could tear down in here. Not that I really need to, but, you know, I don't know why I've got the O2 in there. Those guys aren't getting torn down. Some of the stuff I won't be tearing down because we'll use it in the base. Uh, those hydrogen bottles can be turned into fuel packs right now. We can get that taken care of. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I like that right there. That's nice. I like that guy. And let's throw that in there, that in there, and that in there. And we've got this coming up next yeah awesome oh I see we gotta build this first and then it, oh it's gotta have one of those and then that okay I see alright beautiful I got one of these guys over here finally to put our fuel in so I'm just kinda chucking it in here 
Uh, oh, I didn't grab it, but we're going to fill this, you know, get as much fuel as we can in there to have that taken care of. And, 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 I went through the constructor and picked up all of our extra ores that we have. So this is what we've got going on right now. Now, I still have two of these guys out in the field that I need to pick up and utilize and grab hold of. That's Maybe that's something I could go do real quick while I'm waiting for things to finish up here. Uh, but get the rest of those uh, auto miners taken care of. Or I could just make some more auto miners. I've got... I've got the stuff I need for it, so let's let's turn those into auto miners and just for the fun of it, and try them out. Now we're gonna throw those over here. I'm gonna have to stop this fuel again. I guess this is why I could use a second one of uh, these guys right here, so I don't have to keep going through all this stuff here. Uh, auto miners, auto miners, auto miners. Tier three, one, two, three, uh, four, five. There we go. And we're gonna grab that and that, and that's gonna go there throw this into here and then let's go get this repair bay put in max should be more or less 100% repaired I went over with them kind of pretty fine tooth comb there we'll see if I was uh, accurate with that and voila all right fantastic and let's go ahead and turn that into a nice neon green color so it's nice and bright like that yeah Oop, stuck all right so let's go in here and see what we need I know we need ingots and stuff for it uh, first, uh, escape. First, what we need to do is I want to take Mac and I want to go Alt O and I want to overwrite the current save for him. HV Mac, overwrite. That takes care of that. And then if I go to down here and hit P, I should save template like so. There we go. And now I should be able to come in here. No repaired mode is set. Uh, repair blocks. Cannot be added to standby mode or while repair is in progress. Okay, nothing there. Repair to template. Looks like we're good. It's not telling me I need any ores or anything like that in order to do this. So we're... Uh, ship has no damage blocks. Repair data. Da -da 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 -da. Not enough resources. So what we'll do is we can add resources to this iron, copper, silicon, all that good stuff. We'll throw that in there and we'll be able to repair them. But I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got them all prepared up because uh, I did go over them uh, pretty thoroughly after the last episode. These guys are cooking up. That's good to see there. Uh, I think I think we're good to go off the planet. I can, Like I said, I can tear down the rest of that stuff later. Uh, no big deal there. Yeah, and I've got... Did I, did I reset this to make fuel? I did not. So let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just set that up for about 500. I've got... Well, I don't have quite a 500 there, do I? Yeah, I've got four or 500. That's good. We'll use up all the water for that. Uh, maybe I'll take this 52 and put that up in the farm area and hold on to just a little bit here. I've got the uh, water generators down here working full tilt again so that they will be completely filled next time I have to come down here and get water if there is a next time. Uh, I'm going to pretty much focus on Imperial Galactic Survival until I go on vacation because there's things we've been wanting to do on the ship and it's taken a while to build the ship, so I'd like to stick with it and keep it going here and uh, just... You know, finish the ship up. Uh, I, one one thing I want to do is warp, and I definitely want to get my hands on some of those rare ores that uh, have just been so elusive to me, and I've not been able to grab them. So I want to make sure I do that. We were taking some water up into the farm area. Boom, 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 boom. There we go, and now we've got some water in here. Very nice. These guys. I wonder if I should just make a bunch of those right there. Fire moss scrapings. Yeah, you see, they take fire moss scrapings. Fire moss scrapings. That's the confetti moss. The fire moss is the other one that looks really weird. Those guys can combine. Maybe not. I guess not. So anyways, uh, yeah, we're on the right track. All right, give me a second. I'm going to take another break. And then we'll come back and we will be in space getting ready to warp uh, to a fine, fine destination. I'll be right back. Added a few passenger seats here in case the crew members in here need to, you know, jump into a secured seat and get the, the, themselves secured in because I'm the pilot. <laughs> so I've added that in here. Um, uh, Jay, we're back out in space, by the way. We're back out uh, in the solar. Just, just, uh, 
Well, we're near the trading station right over there. You can see that. Um, let's go to a map. We got all kinds of great stuff around here that we can harvest. Iron, cobalt, silicon, all that stuff is great. I want to find that spot. We had a Zascosium asteroid that was sitting out. Was it over here? Vine, was it over here? See, it shows that I've not seen Vine yet. How do I know if I've been someplace or not? I thought it was because of this yellow. Oh, wait, wait is, is this it? Magnesium, Promethium. Uh, we've not been here yet. We've not been into this, the Nitrome asteroid field. We've not been there. Verata. Apparently we've not been there either. Trique. Restrum. No, 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 no. Maybe it's when we got into one of these, we we warped into a different thing. Let's go to let's go to Varkit, and we'll see from there. You know what? That's probably what it is. I was in Varkit, opened the map, and then I found a, a planet outside of Varkit that I could go to other than Trike, huh? I wonder if that's what it was. Oh, we need to we need to uh, lock that. We need to lock Varkit. There we go. And. Did that actually lock it, or did it say, no, radio, you have to be in the cockpit in order to do that? Mark it. Okay, it is locked. Okay, so... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, mark it, mark it, mark it. There it is. It's over here. I can see the orange arrow. And right there we go. All right, our very first warp in Gypsy. Oh, I need to uh, turn on our thrusters. And I've not done any of the, forgive me, I've not done the auto grouping yet. You guys left me instructions. Thank you very much. I will get to that. I'm kind of waiting for when I've got a little bit of time to just kind of do that stuff on my own and get the feel for it. And then I'll bring it in and show anybody who has questions on it. If not, always check the comments on the channel because we got to, like, as always say, a group, group of people in here who will uh, let you know how things go. Oh, here we go. Boom, shaka laka laka boom. You don't get really the sound effects in the CV that you do in the SVs and the HVs, do you? I mean, if you're in the cockpit, then sure you do. But otherwise, no, you don't. Uh, map. We'll slow down nice and easy. There's silicon and a restroom asteroids in this one here. But what do we got over here now? No, I guess not. Trique? Was it Trique? Remember we found a Zascosium asteroid. Maybe it's this one over here, Verata? No, we've not been. It says we've not been to Verata. Verata orbit? No. That's what I'm confused about is... Why can't I see what's here? Sathium, Neodymium, Cobalt, Promethium... Sathium, all that stuff is in the asteroid, the meteorites uh, in here. But we had one that said Zascosium. I was under the impression the yellow lines meant I'd been there already. See, we've been there. It's, I, I can see what's there. That's what's confusing me here. Okay. Trique. How is our power looking? Main. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. I wasn't sure just how much. This is now these this is the first time I've been warped I've ever warped with a CV too. First time ever. Seven seasons is the first time I've ever done it. I've never made it as far as we've made it in this season is the farthest I have ever been in the game. So I'm pretty excited about being able to go out here. So I've got a lot of questions. Once we get out to this point here, I'm, I'm kind of confused as to what it is I'm, I'm doing out here. Uh, Zescosium. Okay. Asteroids. So does it doesn't show you the asteroids when you do this then, huh? Okay. So we should have an asteroid right here that we can zip around and look at. Uh, Zescosium asteroid is right below us here. 
Dun, 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 interstellar travel, it's so much fun. There we go. Little sound effects for you guys. That's right, my friends out there. Oh, we can go a little faster than that even. Turning off the auto brakes so we can coast. Whoosh. Silently through space and time. It's wonderful. Now this planet, there was a swamp planet we went to. It was very swampy looking. Was it this one? I can't remember. There is a very large ship over there. Do we have what we need to take out a very large ship? I don't know. I can't make another cannon, or a rocket launcher for the front of the ship. I can't do that right now. Uh, we've got our other weapons. They're armed. I'm thinking about going after it. <laughs> I am. Uh, without, uh, you know, really knowing what I'm getting into here. I've got an awful lot of that, a lot of 30 millimeter. We've got rockets, uh, 108 rockets for the auto rocket launchers on the ship. Not a whole lot of rounds in our turrets, which I can remedy that really easy. This guy, this doesn't mean anything to us, and I don't think these guys mean anything to us either. I just threw them in here because I had stuff that needed to go in here. I'm not quite sure. Some of the stuff I've never used before. So I think, I think I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. Oh, he's going away now. He's dropping down. He's just been kind of, I don't know if you could see him or not. He just kind of goes up and down over here by this. Let's try to get a little bit closer and see what happens. Uh, M. No. P. Main. Thrusters. We're going to keep the big thruster on. That way, if I need to get out of the way, I can get out really quick. All of our weapons are on. We get up to top speed really quick. I wish I knew what that was. Because this is what I'm here for. Odds are he's going to have like plasma cannons and stuff like that on him. So he's going to be far more powerful than me. He looks like he's turning right now facing me. And I don't know what his range is. Last time we were here, I was able to just kind of avoid him altogether. I feel a little bit better now that we're behind this asteroid, though, that maybe he won't be able to see us. Well, now we're, we're actually in the asteroid. Whew. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. I don't like that. I don't like that. I can't see him. I think he might be too far away. Just trying to get in position so I can grab some of the Zascosium. He's getting really close now. A little too close for my comfort. I don't know that I can fight that guy. I think I might get my butt kicked. Blow our CV right out of the sky. He's looking pretty powerful there. And he's gotten much closer to this asteroid than he was before. Nine hundred and seventy-five meters. Will that hit him? Doesn't look like it did. Oh man, I'm really dying to see what I can do to that guy. What do we have on this planet? Sathium asteroids. What do we have on the, the space around Tukaya features an asteroid belt? Okay. Um. 
That's not really what I'm looking for. We've got a trade station too. Let's go to this instead. We've never been to Verada. Let's see what's in Verada. Maybe this is going to have something we want. I remember the last time we were here, a ship similar to that was near that meteorite as well, but I was in an SV, so I could just hide behind the asteroid and mine to my heart content, and he just kind of zipped around out there. Oh, it's a temperate planet. Oh, nice. What do we have here? Destroyed small vessel. For out of moon. Cobalt, Promethium. Okay, so just, so just your basic resources are here on this one. Kriftar. Oh, we've got Vine here as well. Let's take a look at this one a little bit closer, too. Iron, Copper, Silicon, Promethium. Yeah. Same on the, on the surface of the planet as well. Difficulties easy. Origin human. Gravity is... 1.21. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... I'm just wanting to get around and just kind of check these things out. Magnesium and Promethium. Yeah, we've not been to that one. That We should probably get to Kriftar and see what that one's all about. Let's check that one out too. We've got Promethium stuff all over the place. We're definitely doing some jumping today, that's for sure. It's a snow planet. Oh, very cool. With a massive asteroid belt around it, too. So what's this guy have on it? Magnesium and cobalt. Ah. It's got a moon, too. And then we can get the Relia Delta Station. And what is the Relia Delta Station? What's that going to be? I know. <laughs> Just all these all these questions. Should we go down here and check this out? I've never been on a snow planet before. So far, we've not found a uh, lava planet. Let's, uh... Turn that one off. Yeah, I'm curious as to what we're going to find down here on this. Maybe maybe we'll find some good stuff on this one. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what's the normal um, ores on, you know, this planet here. Sure is pretty, though. I love the way that looks. I wouldn't mind living on a snow planet either, just to try it out and see what it's like to live in the snow and have a base in the snow and stuff. I bet it's pretty cool. That's the nice thing is once they're further along and we're not going to have these big updates that require us to start over again, I would really love to come to each planet, explore it, get to know it better, and maybe build bases on them. I think that would be really fun. So we'd always have an outpost everywhere. We'll see what we got on this planet right here. See so what the gravity's like on it as well. That could be an interesting thing. Gypsy's holding up pretty well. Let me know, should I or should I have not have taken on that ship? Uh, part of me thinks I should have taken it on and seen what happened, and maybe I could get away. You know, maybe I could get away. There we go. We're going to the atmosphere. Let's turn the auto brake back on again. We'll see what we've got going on in here. Maybe we'll have something good. Maybe we'll find Zascosium right here on this planet. A little chuggy. Let's get ourselves balanced, leveled out, and then we'll just come and kind of come down nice and slow. Oh, that's really cool. Look at this place, man. Oh, wow. Let's go to Alt and see if we're going to land right on top of something that we don't want to land on top of. Okay, let's balance it back out again. We should be at zero, and let's go to our map and see what we've got on this planet. Uh, we've got Sathium. 
No zascosium, though. Cobalt. Looks like silicon, copper, iron. What's this one here? Neodymium. Oh, neodymium. Okay, that's one I don't have. Any of. This is really where we're supposed to land and take Mac out and uh, take him on a run. Do some exploration with him. Okay, let's do that. Uh, thrusters off. We're back to 100% on that. And then what does that leave in our inventory? So let's go B and then F. And our defenses are on, which is very good. Is this a breathable planet? You guys tell me I should be able to see this right in here. Rated gravity is 0.59, so it's okay. That's nice. Weather clear. O2 content is 10%. Breathable? No. Okay, there it is. That's where that's where I need to look for that. Okay. Um, give me a second. I'm going to get Mac fired up. We're going to head out and drive around a little bit and see what this planet looks like on the outside. It's pretty cool looking so far. I'll be right back. Need some food and some stuff. You know what, guys? I got to call it there. It's my Tuesday, so I've got a shorter time to record. It's been a couple of hours. That's about all I've got time for. It's taken me longer than I thought to get some stuff done. But next episode, what we'll do is we'll head out on Mac, check out the snow planet. You guys can let me know, should I have taken on the ship or not? Give it a shot and whirl. Do I have enough weaponry on my on Gypsy here to handle something like that? So let me know. Uh, give me kind of a heads up. I, I'm, I'm curious. I, I kind of feel like I should have just taken it on to see what happened. But, uh, you know, uh, let me know. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time.